Hi, this is Sandra of Source Outreach Ministries. We have some source news today to take a look at some of these things that are going on. Um, we got an alert here from uh, Stephen Bending Noon, uh, Breaking World uh, Alert. Let's take a look and see what he has to say. Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Bending here with Israeli News Live. And uh, boy, this is a very serious broadcast tonight. If you watch our Patreon channel on Israeli News Live, you've already known about this information for some time coming, but we haven't talked about dates. We talked about probability. We talked about uh, energy waves coming in. We talked about the magnetosphere dropping. Uh, we even published on YouTube for the first time going into Mike from around the world on Pastor Paul Begley's program and where he's been talking about the veil dropping, uh, which is the magnetosphere, seeing things like you've never seen before. And he'd say, not too distant future, you're going to see these things. All right. Well, I'm here to give you a new update and a new briefing. This is a breaking story. Uh, I got you hear this people there's something coming to, uh against the earth I mean you're not from the uh outside and outer space a magnetosphere is going to be uh affected and so um there's a lot of things in 2023 and on that are going to be affecting us here on earth through the um outer space situation from on inside earth for underground the volcanoes eruptions the earthquakes the severe storms that are coming because up in our atmosphere, there is too much moisture. And that's why when we get storms, we get it with a, such an intensity of rain and snow as we've never seen before. If you look at the California was inundated with mudslides and waves and flooding as never seen in a very, very long time. So I just want you to really Watch this news, and 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 if you haven't given your life to Jesus yet, you really should sit down and pray about it, because don't have a lot of time. You know, we always say, "Oh, Jesus is not coming." We have a lot of time. What well, you don't have a lot of time, people. Maybe it's down to years. Maybe it's down to months. We don't know. Only God knows. But I'm bringing you these news things in one place under Source Outreach Ministries for you to take a look. Okay. All right, here's another one from um, the sky, the Common Sense Show. It's talking about FedEx has a bunch of body bags. What's that all about? I know in my year, uh, years of study, uh, there was a, lot, a bunch of um, rubber kind of caskets that they saw years ago out at the train uh, stations, and it could fit up to six bodies. Uh, they're, they're looking for some kind of... Um, tragedy is going to be happening and a lot of lives are going to be lost. And so I just want you to really uh, take a look. Okay. Search your heart. This guy here. I just watched a video at a FedEx facility in, in 2021, about the middle to late part of the year. And it left a little doubt about what's coming. Now workers, I mean, there's no question what we're seeing. There's no question that it's in a FedEx facility. There are a couple of possible outcome interpretations. We're going to talk about that here. You hear that? I'm going to let you go to Source Outreach Ministries and watch the Source News page and uh, look at all these videos, but I'm just giving you a little briefing on what it's about today. We have another thing too. All of a sudden, all over the world, our dignitaries, our um, prime ministers, our presidents, whatever you want to give their title to, all of a sudden now they are resigning. Now they must know some things that we don't know. And I think they want to resign because they don't want it on their conscience. Or maybe they're looking to go to where they have um, built some uh, safety uh, homes and stuff. Because if you look on the YouTube, there's a whole bunch of things that are being built for the elite and people with money because they think that they can escape what is coming on on this earth. And so they're going to be maybe going to these places and just taking taking cover, okay? So let's just listen to this for a minute. Hi hey guys, what's going on? My name is Luis and God bless every single one of you. Today is January 18, 2023 and welcome to the Grand Screen News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some breaking news updates, very important information coming out. 
there's a trending going on. Multiple people are resigning. So news. So check this one out. This is Lewis. He's out of Florida. He's a Christian and he reports things just like I do, Paul Bagley and other people that know the Lord and that they get this information and they're reporting it out to us so that we can make decisions. We're trying to reach the lost. We're trying to reach people who don't believe in Jesus so that they can make a decision before it's too late. Okay. And we also have, um, we have weather, things that are going on. Um, this one is good. This has a bunch of information. Um, this is the most disaster prone areas after the California flooding. Uh, take a look at that one. And this guy, Pow Power, he's really good. I like him. He is talking about there's a polar vortex over the United States. So there's going to be some really, really heavy snow and a lot of things going on. And this one is really, really interesting because um, as they, you know, when, when the coronavirus came, right, COVID, everything was conspiracy theory, right? But now after some study, they're finding out that the CDC says that if you had the two shots and a booster, there's a possibility of stroke. And a lot of people say, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, take a look at it and see if that is something that you want to read about. And then this is really, really good. Um, this guy that was the uh, one of the first last living people of the Zuzu Street that started many years ago, that um, started a great revival throughout the United States and the world. And he uh, is giving his vision of a fire falling from the sky. And as you know, we've been receiving and getting some asteroids, comets, uh, debris, uh, and that's coming our way too, people. And um, people have taken pictures of it. People are seeing it throughout the world. So take a look at that. Um, I have that on there. And then this one, I really, uh, this looks good. Um, Bible characters, a list of all the Bible characters, of the most uh, 60 of them ranking. They're rank ranking all of them for their personalities and character that, um, Isaiah El Saldivar uh, put this together, and I think this is really interesting because you could see when, when in the beginning of time, God chose people, just basic people, not uh, elites and rich people and all that. He he chose people that had issues, had drinking problems, killed, uh, adulterers, um, mentally not that good, not a good speaker like Moses. He used Aaron. So just all these things, if you take a look at this, you could see that, that God chooses the simple people to do his work because he must have us to do his work just like satan has to have people to do his evil uh deeds and work on this planet and god is the same he needs his uh faithful servants and his disciples his evangelists apostles all the titles teachers to go out and teach the word of god so that you can have an opportunity to have eternal life and then um, Jesus died for our sins so that uh, you can be saved and have eternal life and do your path that you were given. So this is just, uh, this is really good. I saw this one and this is so interesting. There's a, a billionaire. He's spending 400 billion in the desert of USA, putting together an American utopia, trying to build something beautiful here on earth. It's sort of like he, I don't know, because he has so much money. It's interesting to me because a utopia is sort of like what we're promised as, as believers that once um, everything is passed through the prophetic word of God and the Bible, then God will come and rule and reign here on earth and bring a new heaven to earth. And it sounds like this person is trying to be a God, trying to create this for, um, for people who maybe can afford to go there and live there or whatever his intent is. So it's kind of interesting when you look at this, that man thinks above God almighty and thinks that he can create something good that, that people can have, but it's all this stuff is temporary people. This is all temporary. You know, he might have a good intent, but he doesn't know Jesus because in essence, he'd be out there with his 300 billion helping the homeless and the widows and the poor people and uh, trying to get people saved to, to go and be with Jesus for eternity and not build something on earth that's not going to be for very, very here, uh, here, very long. So I just want you to check out sourceoutreachministries.com. I appreciate you so much for watching all our social media platforms. God bless you. And we'll be back again soon.